Robert Lewandowski. Um, I don't know oh. what's going on with him. He's having very a weird. I think he's on shrooms. <laughs> he's having a whole crisis. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of about a, a little bit of of his quotes from lately. Um, he told a Polish outlet, "I just want to leave Bayern. Loyalty and respect are more important than the work. The best thing to do is find a solution solution together." They didn't want to listen to me until the end. Something died inside me, and it's impossible to ever get that. Even oh, if man. you want to be professional, you can't make up for it. During the during so many years of the club, I was always ready, available. Just by injuries and the pain, I gave my best. I think the best thing to do is find a good solution for both sides, and not to look for a one sided decision. Interesting. Um, I'm not looking for a unilateral solution that makes no sense. Not after so much time, after such a successful era, and with all my will and support. Um, yeah. Um, there was a little bit more, I think, but um, I did watch ESPN FC and they were saying that um, Craig Burley and Frank LaBeouf were calling him a crybaby. <laughs> um, okay, and so what, what I want to ask you is like, in this situation, obviously Lewandowski has one year on his contract. He wants to leave. He's saying he wants to leave. It seems like, this is what it seems like to me. It seems like Barcelona can't really pay that much. And he wants to go to Barcelona, but Bayern's like, we're not taking 20 million. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's trying to say, like, please let me go. Caesar, in this situation, do you feel like you should side with the player or the team? And also, do you would you call him a crybaby? I don't want to be mean, but I'm gonna say one thing before I talk about Lewa. I think that there is something weird going on at Byron. I know there was the whole Serge Gnarby situation where, like, he just literally one day was like, "Give me the hell out of here," and they were like, "Uh," so like there was like a lot of talks and like he was dead. He's desperate to leave. It's really weird. Um, and now he's obviously like available to go. Like, um, so he's saying he hates it there. He wants to go. Uh, Lewa, I don't know. Lewandowski, I thought was on the same track, but then he wrote that weird thing that was like something died inside of me. I'm like, did you go to like Arizona and do like shrooms or something? And you just <laughs> saw the Byron as like the devil. What happened, dude? Are you okay? Like it's really, are you okay, man? Are you tired of scoring 40 goals? Are you over it? <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really weird. I, I don't really know what's going on there, but I'm going to keep it real with you. And I'm pro player. I'm pro labor union. I'm pro workforce. I'm the people before the company all day of the week. This is a weird circumstance for me, dog. I'm going to keep it real. I don't really side with you on this. I don't really side with you only because one team is like, we can't afford this. We want to give you 20 million for the player. He's like, I want to go there so bad. My heart is burning. They're like, okay, but dog, you signed this, this contract. Like, and and we're, it's not like they're blocking all transfers. It's just like, we're not going to take that amount. So it's a little just, weird. Let me just say this. Before, I made up 20 million. <laughs> okay, man. Uh, if but, it's 20 million, then but, Bam, but Bam assuming, over here on his Fabrizio right now, making yeah, up 20 I, million euros a, plus sign-on bonus plus incentives. I'm assuming 20 million because Barcelona's broke. So. No, it, it's just strange to me. It's a very weird situation. I think that Loa has made this weird by handling it horribly. I think he's handled it really bad. I think that... He could have done a better job of communicating to the public because right now where I'm at, I'm not really on his side for this. But if I hear differently, if I hear differently, if I hear some else, I'm I'm liable to switch real quick. Would you call him a crybaby? Huh? I'm not going to call him a crybaby. That's weird. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the ESPN FC desk who all I played for was Scotland and start calling people crybaby. Like, uh, I don't really know. I mean, that man has scored more goals in that whole desk times 17 times. He's a fantastic player. I don't want to, I don't want to do that, but it's a little weird. It's just, it just comes off a little weird. I'll say this. Like, I don't remember when he had the MLS saga too, when he was like the LA Galaxy thing. I'll say this. I don't want to necessarily call him a crybaby, but Lev has been weird in the past. I do remember, and we did report on it, it when, he was, when he was when he when he was mad about not winning the Golden Boot when yeah. uh, he, he was saying the, his players didn't help him. I'm <laughs> like, oh my! Didn't, they wouldn't pass me the ball to yeah. even go to the boot. Or and, I'm like, and I'm like, dog, the year before you won the Golden Boot, you only scored 22 goals, so like you don't get to complain, homie. Um, but I do think it's an interesting situation, like. You know, we've called it professional slavery in the past. Yeah. I feel like when a player wants to leave, the team should figure something out for them to leave. 
amicable at least. Some, something, amicably, something, but, something but, fair and amicable. Yeah, and, but and the thing we don't know is if if Lewandowski went to the people and talked to them and they were saying, yeah, we'll only accept this much. And he's looking around at the market, so to speak, and saying like, nobody's going to do that. And he's like upset, but I wish like, maybe he felt like going out in the media and saying this was his last resort. Yeah. But at the same time, players do that all the time. We saw Neymar do it. Although a lot of times they do it after the fact. Um, We saw Neymar and Mbappe do that. I'm not going to call him a crybaby, but I feel like if he wants to leave, he should. But if I'm, if I'm the team, like, okay, Caesar, what's he? I think he's thirty three or thirty four, one of those. What do you think is a reasonable amount to sign Lewandowski? Probably not like Lewandowski right now. Yeah. Did he win the Golden Boot last year? Yeah, he's won it two years in a row. He won the Pichichi. He won. He won the Golden Boot for the whole Europe. No, Benzema did. I think Lewandowski scored the most goals. Benzema. I thought Benzema had 45 goals this year. Uh, okay. Uh, either. Okay. Okay. I mean, I would, if I'm, if I'm a team, I wouldn't pay more than like, I wouldn't sign him for more than like 55 million. Yeah. I was going to say Probably 50. Probably around a number. 50, um, something like that. He's, you're only going to give me maximum four years, three years. Yeah. From 33. Like, damn dog, I'm going to have you to you 37. I won't probably sign for a two year deal. I just want to, See if we can make a nice little run, you know, a nice little, little, little. It'd have to be a team that's ready too. Like, I could see him but, going to like uh, some English team or whatever. Or, or, or he wants. To, I mean, his heart is screaming for Barcelona for some weird reason. I think he uh, maybe I get some it, I get secret it. avenge path towards ruining the Boomerang's life. Well, I think he's doing that. <laughs> well, I can see him wanting to play for Barcelona. It's still a big club. It's a lot of history. Like, and I, I think it. that's a perfect place if I'm a player of his level. I'm like. Damn, if I ball out there, I become a megastar. Exactly. It's uh, definitely. I think he's thinking of marketability. And, and he's and they're in Champions League next season, so they can do a lot. But yeah, 50, 55 million. I don't think Barcelona can really afford that. They just paid sixty for uh, Ferran Torres services. They can't. They didn't even get any, a transfer for uh, the He's gonna leave for free. Like you're not even gonna like get money exactly. From the players. Uh, Busquets is complaining about like the wages getting lowered again. He didn't hear about it. So like, <laughs> I mean, Busquets is like. He's like Busquets is like I'm I'm leaving vacation. I'm hearing about my wage getting lowered in the media. Like why don't y'all He's tell like, us? I play I play like I barely make anything. But come on, don't pay me like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. But it's unfortunate that a player of his stature is going out in the media speaking that way. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's necessary that he did that or not. But that's why I said I'm liable to to switch it up. You could if switch. I, kinda, I need to learn more. Because for sure, it just feels a little murky. He and it's, it's kind of his fault. He's been kind of weird before, so I, I have to put skeptical eyes on him a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, but, okay. I so mean, the, I get it though. Yeah, okay. We could talk about bail, um, but it was more gonna just be um, kind of just talking shit about him. So I'm gonna skip that. 